Hi guys and welcome to the Aging Games. Are you doing the keto diet and are you also going on vacation? If that's the case, you might, you might be a little bit worried about what you can eat, how you can eat. Is it going to be difficult, especially if you're new to this way of eating? Now, I'm leaving on a road trip this morning and I'm going to be driving all around Spain and staying in the most beautiful places. And I'm really looking forward to eating some amazing, amazing food. So what this video is going to be about, I'm going to take you on this beautiful journey with me around Spain and Costa Brava, Costa Blanca, and I'm starting from Andalusia. And I'm going to show you everything that I'm eating on this trip. Now I'm going to try to be as strict as possible with keto, and I'm going to show you guys the good and the bad. So I'm going to show you everything that I'm eating that's 100% keto, but there are always temptations and you're on vacation. So you need to let go a little bit and also enjoy yourself. But I want to show you how you can let go, enjoy yourself, and still stick to the diet as much as possible so that you don't end up coming home with extra poundage, extra weight, because nobody wants that. And that's always a big concern. It's a lot of stress. If you've been on track, you've been doing everything strictly, and then you go on vacation and you feel like everything's thrown out the window and you just eat and drink whatever you want, and you can easily gain, you know, five pounds by the time you get home. And I know nobody wants that. I'm gonna try to help you guys make good selections when you're out in restaurants. Hopefully I'll be able to eat a lot of steak. I'm looking forward to trying to eat steak every day because steak is the most nutritious food in the world and I just don't get enough of it. I'm gonna film everything for you guys so you can see exactly what I'm eating and I'm really, really excited about this video. So, come on up, let's get started. Okay, these are pinchos. This is normally found in the northern part of Spain, in Basque country, but we found this amazing bar. It's a bit more difficult to eat in a place like this, even though they look really, really appetizing and there are so many different kinds. What I would normally do is choose like four or five different ones and just get rid of the bread. So get something with cheese, ham, vegetables on top, or something with meat. Sometimes they do have like meat portions separately. But look how amazing these look. Like this one's with blood sausage, that one's with ham, different sausages, meat, there's eggs and sausages, there are so many different kinds, they look amazing. This is my first breakfast on the road, as you know, breakfasts in hotels are not too exciting, but I got an omelet with lots of bacon, ham, cheese and they also had chicken breast which is rather strange for our breakfast but I got some chicken breast with it for some extra protein and then the Spanish make this tomato that is like kind of crushed up and with some coarse sea salt so this is breakfast finally arrived after a long day in the car in the Costa Brava just about one hour north of um, Barcelona and this is our view from the rooftop terrace of our hotel it's amazing we haven't had anything to eat since this morning. The last meal I showed you was at eight o'clock and it's 5 p.m. now, so we're just waiting for dinner. Okay, here's my keto lunch dinner from room service. So this is a nice chicken thigh. I asked for just vegetables and a beautiful goat cheese salad to go with it. And to go with that view. This is the next day at this beautiful hotel that we're staying at. As you can see, the quality of the food is also improving. I have some ham, the Spanish jamón, some different kinds of cheeses, sun-dried tomatoes, peppers. I took a little tiny square of Spanish tortilla, which does have potatoes, but that's why I took just a small piece. I have the tomatoes that I showed you guys yesterday. This is a seafood platter. My mom will be having this. I don't eat seafood, but here you can also see that there's lots of seafood options and those are totally keto. I have a Greek yogurt and you can even have some champagne with your breakfast if you like because champagne is very low in carbs. And then I will be ordering some Eggs Benedict from the menu. So here we have two keto options that you can order from the menu. One is an Eggs Benedict without the English muffin, extra hollandaise sauce of course, and then Here's a cheese omelet, cheese, cheese omelet with crispy bacon. They both look divine, don't they? Putting some stevia in my nice decaf cappuccino. It's a beautiful afternoon in the beach club next to our hotel. 
with the beach just across the street. And what's a girl to do on a beautiful, in a beautiful beach club like this? You must enjoy a nice cocktail. So how can you make this keto? Well, this is a pina colada and I asked for it without any sugar. So it's only fruit and coconut milk and it's not sweet at all. It's nice and refreshing and I still I can sit in this beautiful, beautiful setting. Check it out guys. How nice is that? You can sit in this beautiful place and enjoy a cocktail with my family. So cheers. Here's to my keto-ish cocktail. Enjoy. So probably a bit over the keto limit, but when you're sitting in a place like this, what's a girl to do? Delicious. Here's my beautiful steak dinner with a lovely mushroom sauce and roasted vegetables. Can't wait to dig into this. Looks amazing. Well, today breakfast was the same as yesterday, so no video for you guys. This is where we are now. I can't pronounce the name of this city, but it's kind of like Venice with the little canals. We're gonna rent a boat and drive around. And I am having a quick lunch. My dad's having a big schnitzel and I'm having some gazpacho soup, cold gazpacho soup on a hot sunny day. So this feels very nice and refreshing. This is just tomatoes, onions, peppers, garlic, quite tasty and refreshing. I know I said it's very sunny <laughs> just a few minutes ago in the restaurant, but it's not so sunny anymore. It's quite cloudy and we just rented a boat. So hopefully there's not gonna be a major storm or anything, but it's quite beautiful here. You can see what a nice place this would be to live or to have a nice vacation home, just beautiful. After a long day today, we didn't much feel like going out for dinner. So we just bought some stuff in the supermarket. We're very lucky as our room has a really nice kitchen. The family's having some leftovers from lunch and some, look at this nasty bread, just terrible. So what I did was I bought some chicken breast and I fried it in some butter with just salt and pepper that I got from the restaurant downstairs. So very, very simple, but I mean, you, don't, you won't even get such a nice chicken breast cooked for you in the restaurant. And then I also bought some lettuce, some Caesar dressing and some cheese. So I'm gonna do my famous chicken Caesar wraps and have this for dinner. A beautiful start to another beautiful day. Instead of having breakfast, we are having some vitamin C. So beautiful at the beach today. So we're fasting until later on this afternoon and just having a beautiful swim and getting some sun. Look how beautiful this bay is. Okay, now it's time to break our fast and I'm doing so with a beautiful decaf cappuccino with almond milk and a bit of cocoa on the top. And this view, not bad, right? The beautiful medieval town of Pals, just about 30 minutes from the coast. And look at this beautiful, perfect keto shop that I found. They are selling local sausages. How tasty does this all look? All here locally made. I wanted to show you guys a close up of these sausages. They all have different spices on them. They're covered in different spices. Some have curry and some have cheese inside, oregano, garlic, different kinds of coating on them on the outside, which gives it a really special unique taste, barbecue, all kinds of different flavors. We're busy trying them all and they are really, really delicious. We stopped for a quick bite, late afternoon lunch. This beautiful little restaurant in Pulse, in the medieval town. And we are having a few things. Burrata salad as usual. I can never say no to burrata salad when it's available. And a little bit of foie gras. Just a few bites to get us through the day. This here, guys, not keto. Don't eat the evil bread. We are in the beautiful town of Begur, which is also has a beautiful, really nice old town. Just walking around here and I've been really craving an ice cream and I couldn't find any sugar-free ice cream at all. So I compromised. I asked for a little mini tiny tiny cone with a little bit of chocolate ice cream. So I am sitting today, but it's sinfully delicious. <laughs>
tiny baby ice cream. Almost keto. I told you guys I'm gonna show you everything that I'm eating. Okay, this is definitely not keto, but it's a nice little tiny compromise. So I didn't film any food yesterday for you guys. There was nothing too exciting to be had and we actually just ended up buying some KFC for the family and some grilled chicken and that's what we ate yesterday. We are walking along the sea today. As you can see, it's absolutely beautiful and I got these crazy braids yesterday. I don't know, what do you guys think? <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> I'm still trying to get used to it. They're very tight, not too comfortable. And I'm hiding my head with a big hat like this so today i'm hoping to share some culinary delights with you guys looking for some really nice food this is our last night here on the costa brava and tomorrow we are heading south again we'll be on the costa blanca tomorrow in altea so hopefully some nice food there i've eaten there before and there are some really great restaurants i finally have a tasty dish to share this is our lunch it's a really nice salad with some goat cheese tomatoes lettuce and duck liver on top of and artichokes. I wanted to say anchovies on top of artichokes with some Spanish ham, jamon on top of them. There, I see some bread underneath it that will not be eaten. And this is a nice summery lunch that I'm looking forward to digging into. I ordered some dessert, keto-ish dessert. It's strawberries with fresh cream and with nuts on top. It's a mighty huge dessert. Should I be sharing this? I think so. Sadly, our road trip is slowly coming to an end. Um, we're checking out of this beautiful place today and heading back home. We'll be stopping on the Costa Blanca for one more stop, but I wanted to do the outro for this video in case there's no time or anything else that's really interesting to film. We had a really wonderful time, and I hope this video shows you that you can actually do keto on the road anywhere that you are and eat delicious food and not feel deprived. Now, a couple of things that I wanted to mention. First of all, you know, I didn't make any big stress or anything about exercising, going to the gym during this trip, but I always set a goal for uh, steps, for number of steps. You may have seen my video where I did the 20,000 steps a day challenge, and that was wonderful. I didn't set such a high bar this time because I was traveling with my parents and with my son and his girlfriend. So I was aiming for between 10,000 to 20,000 steps every day and we have succeeded at that and I wanted to get a hundred thousand for the whole week and we're almost there I think I said 95,000 for the week we did 23,000 steps yesterday that was a very busy day on a hot hot summer day so it's, it's quite impressive and we will have the hundred thousand steps by the end of today for sure so I like to set those goals and I think that's really important and it keeps you motivated and it keeps you moving and you know counting those steps and watching those steps it keeps you accountable to make sure that you do keep up with your fitness routine even though I didn't go to the gym my son and his girlfriend were in the gym every day they found a really good gym nearby and it was really important for them to keep up with their training and for me I decided instead to relax and to enjoy my time and not spend my time running around looking for gyms so this was really good the other thing that I wanted to remind you guys of is that you know if you're not super strict with keto while you're on vacation it's okay you don't have to stress about it like it's it was very hard for me because I'm traveling with four four people and everyone's eating different things and everyone's eating all the carbs ice cream sweets all those kinds of things and it's really hard to be sometimes just to be standing on the sidelines and watching and not having any of those things so last night my son and his girlfriend they invited me to a Japanese restaurant and I did have some things that I wouldn't normally have and it was delicious it was 
probably the best thing I had on the trip. It was really, really good. So it was definitely worth it. And we even had some sweets afterwards. So I'm not gonna beat myself up about it. I am on vacation. You know, of course, I'm probably gonna go home feeling a little bit puffier because I'm eating different foods that I, than I normally eat at home. So, you know, you'll feel a bit puffy. You might not feel that good, but it's just water. So remind yourself of that, that if you do go off track and you're on vacation, you went off track a little bit, it's fine. You know, you, it's just water weight. And once you go back home, home and back to your normal routine your body's gonna get back to normal and you're not gonna feel like that anymore so I think it's really important to, to find the balance to stick to your diet as much as you can and as much as you feel comfortable with but even if you go completely crazy for a few days or a week nothing's really gonna happen you're able to reset your body super quickly if you do fasting like I do then you can just jump into a, a fast for a day or two just to give your body a bit of a cleanse and and to get you back on the right diet once again that's super easy to do so I'm not gonna worry about this at all I did enjoy last night and I did enjoy the food I didn't film anything I didn't say I didn't even have my phone with me or anything like that but it was a really really good time and it was definitely worth it so if you do have a cheat meal or a cheat food or something make sure it is worth it make sure it's really tasty and you really enjoy it and just enjoy every bite and don't stress about it I bid you guys adios from this beautiful beautiful place I'm so sad to be leaving I really wanted to do one more dip in the sea today but uh, we're all packing up so no more time and thanks so much for coming on this journey with me guys I hope you enjoyed it I hope you enjoyed seeing some of beautiful beautiful Spain Costa Blanca Costa Brava and these beautiful places that we visited and uh, really really special wonderful healthy Mediterranean food if you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see more from me and learn more about keto, healthy lifestyle, over 50, exercise, hormones, you name it, I've got it covered. Please do subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification button so that you get notifications every time I post a new video. Wish, wishing you all a healthy, happy day. Ciao!